there are various approaches of frequency meter design. So, we will list the approaches. frequency meter design. One approach is mechanical by using vibrating uh, quartz. There are some instruments, there are some frequency meters uh, in which there are tuned uh, strips of metal and they vibrate and depending on the frequency, the a particular metal strip will vibrate and based on which metal strip is vibrating, we can find out the uh, frequency. So, one strip is uh, vibrating maximum at say 45 hertz, one 46 hertz, one more 47 hertz, one more 48 hertz and so on. So, if I apply 47 hertz, then the, that particular strip only will vibrate, other strips will not vibrate by which I can understand the 47 hertz. So, this is mechanical one. Second approach is to use a, um, a dial having a dial like uh, you have a voltmeter and you have a dial. So, this type of instrument you can have and that mechanical indicator will indicate the frequency value. So, analog analog dial <coughs> type frequency meter, then digital readout, digital readout and uh, this may be LED display. LCD display or you may send the data to maybe PC through serial communication, <coughs> serial data or you may store the data or whatever, it can be anything. But most of the time, we will prefer these two because we would like to design a an independent frequency meter. So, have a frequency meter and just it will give you a readout fine. So, we have mechanical analog digital readout. Whenever we talk about digital readout or uh, electronic frequency meter, typically digital readout, there are again two ways to design them. One is using discrete ICs, discrete ICs like you use counters, everybody knows counters. So, use counters because ultimately it is a counting job. So, use counters and uh, 7 segment decoders, 7 segment displays and combine them in such a way that ultimately the circuit works like a frequency meter. This is one approach, but it requires lot of ICs. The other approach is to use microcontroller. use a microcontroller. Which microcontroller it will dis it will be uh, dependent on us. Right? Since we have studied 8051 microcontroller, we can proceed with using 8051 microcontroller. But any microcontroller is appropriately suitable as long as it has uh, the features like uh, IOs to connect LED or LCD and a timer to count the pulses right and enough CPU power to do calculations. If you find T, it should be able to do 1 upon T within specific time and so on, but most of the microcontrollers can do that. So, the approach that we will have is not discrete IC because uh, this has gone out of the phase because nowadays everything is miniature and everything is intelligent. So, we will have this approach, we will design a microcontroller based. Um, frequency meter. So, we understood the various approaches. It may be a mechanical frequency meter, it may be analog, dial and digital readout, LED, LCD, serial data and uh, two approaches and we preferred microcontroller based approach and uh, we say that right now we are designing in uh, the frequency meter using 8051, but any microcontroller is appropriately suitable. You can make it suitable, you can select the microcontroller accordingly. Right. So, what is the what are the various approaches through which we can use the microcontroller and ultimately achieve the frequency readout? Uh, I have done some work for that and I am going to show you demonstration of that. <coughs> 
in Proteus because I cannot um, take the whole laboratory here. Uh, but Proteus can show you that the frequency can be measured and the logic as well as the program also I will show you. You can also write the logic and how to develop that logic that we will understand because developing the logic is important not using the ready made logic right. So, we will do that fine. So, we have decided that we will design a microcontroller based uh, frequency meter. So, if you try to draw a block diagram of the whole thing what it will be? It will have typically three parts one is the microcontroller, the other one is display, this is a microcontroller display then the program will be inside this there will be a program we have to write the program we have to design the microcontroller based hardware we have to write a program then display will be part of the hardware. So, display and then there will be some interfacing circuitry interfacing circuit which will convert the analog input into the square wave which will be acceptable by the microcontroller everybody understanding this microcontroller as we know cannot accept sine wave directly. Suppose, if you want to measure the frequency of a sine wave whose amplitude is just 200 milli volts. Now, 8051 will not accept that because uh, it is analog signal and not logic logical signal. So, we have to convert that signal into zeros and ones 0 volt and 5 volt detail compatible and then give it to 8051 right. So, by and large there will be uh, three parts interfacing circuitry microcontroller the program has to be there without program the hardware is just plastic and metal and there will be a display. Any other part that we can add to this which is important power supply very good power supply without power supply nothing works. So, power supply power supply now it may be a battery for handheld instrument or a standard power supply transformer rectifier filter regulator all these things. The interfacing circuitry may also have some protection circuit which is optional it depends on the design. Initially we may not have protection circuitry because we would like to verify the functionality of our circuit and later on we can add the protection because when we are using the instrument which is designed by us we will use it carefully because we know the limitation. But if I design it and sell it to somebody he may use it in any way and uh, he may connect something which is not expected to be connected and therefore, the instrument may get burnt the input stage may get damaged and if you want to avoid that you may include one small protection circuitry everybody understanding this how to do that it is a separate issue we will do that slowly right fine. So, we will address uh, everybody understood these blocks right. So, microcontroller has to be there program has to be there display has to be there power supply also is mandatory and interfacing circuitry is also required because the input can be anything 